Hello Internet, today I want to show you guys how I make a realistic sun in After Effects by using Saber. If you don't know what is Saber, Saber is actually a new plugin that just released a few weeks ago by Video Copilot and it's free. The point is, by using Saber, you can actually create any light elements for your text typography or any shapes. You can really check it out the Video Copilot channel and there is one training video for that specific plugin. In this video, I want to show you guys how I make the sun in After Effects by using Saber. Well, there are still tons of reasons why I want to use Saber to create the sun. And instead of just telling instead of I just telling you, why not I'll just show you. Alright guys, let's take it easy and start from the beginning. The first thing I'm going to do now is to import the video clip that I'm going to work with. And let's drag that clip to this tiny little button here. So what it does is it's going to create a new composition with the settings that specifically for this video file. The next thing I'm going to do is to create a solid layer. I'm going to name it Sun. And it doesn't matter what the solid color is. It can be any color. So. Yeah, you can just make it any color you want. And what you're gonna do now is to apply Saber plugin onto that layer. Just double click. So, yeah, don't freak out. You, what you're gonna see is to, it's going to be a one straight blue line. Well, it's a default settings. What you have to do now is to bring them together because you don't want your sun looks like a straight line or rectangle, right? You can zoom in to make it more precise. And okay, if you zoom out now, you you barely gonna see anything. The reason is because the size is too small. So you have to bring out the size. To do that, you can come here to see there's a core size. You can bring out the value. Uh, for my video, right, I'm gonna make it 40. So at this point, uh, you guys don't have to follow me exactly the same because it kind of depends on what kind of footage you are working with it can be a wide shot you so you gonna have to make it smaller a bit if it's close up so it has to be bigger anyway well you might probably gonna tell me that well this doesn't look like a sun yeah I know because it's not a spherical shape so we can fix this to by going here, customize core, and we can look for start rounders and end rounders. So you might probably not gonna understand why what does this stand for. Well, to me, right, I think it's just about the wind, the 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 width. So anyway, I'm just gonna make it one, and yeah, the other half one. So it's going to give me a perfect spherical shape. Okay, so. If you ask me, I will tell you that this is not a realistic sun. It's because that there's still some hard edges. So yeah, we are gonna fix it by playing with these settings. So we can come to here and bring down the spread. Well, the spread is a little bit too much for me. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you can see that the hard edges is actually gone and we can actually we need to increase the glow strength. We can actually bring out the bias. Maybe we can bring out the little bit spread. Okay, I mean, it looks fine to me now. Well, don't worry, guys. I know that the sun is not blue color, so we have to change the color as well. Something like this. Okay, here's the thing I want to mention is. Um, the reason you can see that the color is really really nice. I, I don't know any other words to describe it But it is nice and the reason behind this is because video copilot actually put into another plugins which is VC vibrance Yeah, I I think I have okay. Yeah, this is a plugins Well, what it does is just like any other plugins that play plays with the colors like Tritones or thin, but this one kind of just give you more control over it. You can control the vibrancy, the, you can do the luminance, brightness, gamma, and you can even make an alpha mod for that. And 
So the special thing is the video complex actually put this into the saber. So yeah, it's like a one plus one package. So you can create a really nice color with this plugin. So that's also one of the main reason I want to use it to create the sun. Okay, so the sun is created, it's done. So the next thing I'm gonna bring it into the footage. Well, before that, I'm just gonna uh, get the transparency first. So it's really easy. You can come to blending mode and go to screen. So it's gonna review whatever is added back at the bottom layer. Okay. I probably gonna trim the video a little bit because I don't want to work entirely with nest unnecessary parts. Okay, let's trim it. So yep. So how do we attach the sun to the sky? Well it's quite easy and I think you guys already know. It is the track motion. If you guys don't know how to actually use it, well, uh, let me know and so let me know if I should actually make another tutorial video for this part because I cannot really cover everything in this video. It's going to take a long time. Okay, let's do the simple trick. Uh, wait, press the one thing. Okay, let's see. See, okay, it seems fine. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna create a new now object to apply my um, my motion track. So yeah, just as simple as this. In fact, I don't think I need to do another tutorial video because it's quite easy actually. So now we have f the first motion track. Well. It's not done yet because I haven't tracked the, the 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 second half of the video. So I'm just do the same thing again, track motion, and do the second half track. The reason that I I stopped just now is because the this guy's head is coming across and it's going to block the whatever is here. So it's gonna distract the track point. So I have to stop and find another sharp point. So yeah, I have to find here. In case you guys don't understand, uh, a sharp point means that you you need to you need a sharp point for the software to understand the the pieces of this image. So the software this the After Effect can understand the 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 image, so he can distinguish the spot, the dimension. Well, it kind of complicated. I mean, I don't know how to explain. And yeah, because. English is not my strongest suit as well, so hmm, I'm gonna say sorry about that. Okay, now the second track is done. Well, let's create another now object as well. Now two. Okay, like I said just now, right? I mean, guys, mm, my English may not be really un easy to understand, but let me know, guys, if it is very difficult to understand i will just put subtitle it's okay okay now let's go back to the tutorial now we have two layer with two motion track so these actually are the path that i want the sun to actually follow so but the problem now is it's two different layers so what i'm gonna do now is to combine them together it's pretty simple you can see that i have now one and now two I'm gonna bring the keyframes from the now two to now one, so it's very really simple. I can copy and go to the same timeline. You see, I copy here, so I have to call, go to this frame and select the now one and paste. So if I delete the now two, you're gonna see something like this. Uh, wait. Okay, this these are the keyframes that I copied just now. You can see that this one straight line here, okay, it's not no bad, no big deal. It's because we were using two different spot for motion track, so now all we have to do is just drag this together, so it seems very smooth. So 
in, I'm gonna select this you can see that this is the path that Sun is going to move for the entire video so ta -da, it's really simple so yeah this is how the Sun is going to move now so okay but it's not done yet we need to select we need to bring this square to the position where the sun should be so I can yeah I can come to this frame and select this position remember you must select entire keyframe altogether you cannot just select this keyframe I mean yeah I mean just press here you can select all keyframes altogether so you can just drag it anywhere you want so um, I'm gonna put sun here yeah this is the anchor point so I have to put here it should be it should be make sense right and you need to bring the sun select the sun and go to the same position as well you can see that it is same and one last thing parent this to now one so what it does is the sun is going to follow wherever the now one move if you don't believe, I'll play for you. You can see that the sun is actually moving, but it seems that it's not moving in the video. Well, um, it was really nice now. Well, I mean, it's a, actually a really good technique for a tracking shot because, I mean, sometimes, oh my god, what is that noise? I think my house, my, my housemate is actually cooking right now, so... I'll come back in a few minutes okay so now you may gonna see one problem now is when the, the camera move at this point you're gonna see that um, it doesn't make sense it seems like the Sun is I mean it seems like the guy is see-through right I mean it doesn't make sense it should be being obscure being hidden at this point so what we are gonna do is a little bit like rotoscoping but it's not well this is a clever part this is the main reason why I want to use Saber as the plugin to create a sun okay let's come to here we can select this layer now the sun layer now and we can create a mask a mask with the shape of this guy's body well if I want to fast forward this I can just mute this layer well, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just you just need to get the shape around it, the the shape that is going to interact with the sun. So you have something like this, and press M, and press this stopwatch because you need to make keyframes, and yeah, like this. Go to the last keyframes. Here. Come to here. Do you guys hear some noise? Because my my housemate is actually cooking right now. So yeah, I I'm sorry about that. But I have been waiting for whole day, and all of them are just keep cooking, and I cannot really control about that. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect like I said just now. It just has to get the shape right. Okay, so if I turn back on my sun layer, you can see that actually nothing happens yet. It's because I haven't played with the plug, the saber plugin. I need to do something with it. Let's come to this render setting. You can see that this is alpha mod here, and by default setting, it's going to be disabled. So what I want you guys to do now is to bring set this to mask core. Okay, let's let me explain. I solo this layer. So what does the, what does it mean is by mask the core is you can see that whatever I mask just now, right? Outside the mask, he's going to throw away the core. Can you see that? Let me show you another example. If I press mask glow whatever i must just now outside the mask he's going to throw away the glow leave up only the core so this is 
really, 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 really useful for me to create a sun. Let me go back to mask call. Well, I need to go here and change the add to subtract. So what it does is, you see that if I turn back on here, here is Brian's head, and here is outside the Brian's. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian is actually this guy because he is my friend, so I'm get, getting used to call him his this name. Anyway, Brian, right? Well, to make a realistic sun, right, it has to be some interaction. So, the interaction I mean is, at some point, the 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 sunlight is actually has sun sunlight spill on the guy's body, the guy's body, and and the color doesn't looks like a uh, regular feathering masking and and doing feathering or whatever and turn out opposite or whatever well this is nothing like that that's why i mean this plugin is so cool about creating something like this well but i i have to say that it's not done yet because i think here is over exaggerated so i have to decrease the bias a little bit actually and spread a little bit so so maybe a solo yeah I, I guess it looks more convincing now yeah I mean I don't want to say anything but do you guys think this is realistic because for me even though it doesn't look real right but it looks definitely nicer than if you are just using optical flares to create a sun because of the interactions with the sun and the object is it looks really nice i mean let me play back for you guys can you see that can you see that yeah i mean yeah it, it actually 90 percent of this tutorial is done because i mean the main point is to create a sun right but if you guys don't mind keep watching this um i would like to actually put an optical flare let's go to create adjustment layer optical flare so if you guys don't know optical flare is actually another plugins uh created by video copilot as well to create lens flare so it looks like this i have to go here and change to on over original and let's go to options well if it is the first time that you guys using optical flash well don't freak out um you don't have to really play with all the settings here all the time because i for myself i don't do that also because there are also a lot of presets you can use well for me personally i kind of like to use this one i, I especially i like this flare so i'm gonna put flash for this sun so but in this preset there's only the uh, there's a sun here so i want to take it out so i just can i can i can just press this button to remove it leave out only flash and yeah i can make it more obvious by bring out the brightness contrast or the saturation and press ok so yeah you're gonna see something like this and so now just like what i did for the sun just now i need to parent this to the now one but there's a little bit difference i i don't want to just parent the position but i also want to parent the direction oh my god and let me let me do this for you first i'm gonna press alternate key and press this stopwatch here position s y and it's good you just need to press this button this little circling to uh let's please go down please go down. okay to here to position the, the the now the position of the now one so what it does is you can see take a look at this purple thing can you see how that move let me explain okay if I didn't do this right let's say that I didn't do any of this I'm just gonna parent this usual as what I did with the Sun just 
go here you can see that the, the, the flex is not actually moving but the composition is moving so you can see the, the, the purple thing are actually moving to the right it's not what I want so I, I think that, that it's quite easy to understand you now because it looks more real I mean I should stop saying real now because I want to leave it up to you guys uh yeah I mean that's all for this tutorial I I really appreciate you if you guys are still watching this video because I think I'm I may have already mentioned a lot of bullshit crappy stuff that is actually nothing to do with this tutorial but well yeah I think you guys are still watching this and listen to me I really appreciate that and yeah other than that I don't really know what to say because the tutorial things are really new to me and actually this is the first tutorial that I have ever done I wish there are still more for it so you guys please give me some support and give it some like and subscribe to me so yeah you can get you can show me your love to let me know if you guys really if you guys like would like me to do more tutorial videos then I will know anyway oh I want to mention one thing is uh, this video clip right is actually taken out from a short film that I have been working on for a few months and it's going to release in this month or the next month or probably two months later I mean I cannot really guarantee because the I'm the college student and uh, there's still tons of work for me to do and I'll try my best to really release it as soon as possible well and you guys may subscribe to my channel so you will get notified whenever the video is up you don't have to but it's free so why not thank you guys I really thank you guys I mean this video is like 20 minutes and you guys still watching I really love you guys thank you guys thank you guys okay, see you guys okay bye bye